Turn it. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this video, I want to cover a topic that a lot of you guys have been asking here on the channel uh, regarding swing trading. I want to uh, share my strategy with you guys and also give you guys two stocks that I'm actually watching this week uh, as far as earnings goes. So that's what I want us to cover in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So guys, when it comes to uh, trading, again, I've, I've talked about this on the channel several times, um, that you have three different ways you can approach the market. So you can approach the market from the perspective of a, of a day trader, which means you buy and sell securities that same day. Or you can approach it from the perspective of a swing trader. It means you buy and hold for a few days or a week or month or several months, and you can sell it for some profit based on catalyst that you see. Or you can approach the market just as an investor. So you buy and hold long term, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20 years. So those are different approaches that you can actually uh, deploy. Um, and most people still don't understand that concept. And I'm going to do a separate video really doing that breakdown. But today, um, my focus is going to be swing trading. So uh, if you're new to the market and a lot of people uh, jump in and just think that the market is all about day trading. No, I want you to be uh, balanced. I want you to know that you have to invest long term because day trading could be risky. So you have to have a long term portfolio. Um, and how do you day trade? You can also um, add stuff like swing trading to increase your profitability if you understand certain stocks. So you buy the stocks. Um, in this case, I'll talk about earnings calls. You buy the stock prior to their earnings call in anticipation that when the earnings come out, you can then um, just write that earnings and take the profit and get out. A lot of people don't understand that strategy. And that's something that I've been deploying um, for the last two and a half years, uh, really just buying uh, certain stocks. And again, guys, I'm not just buying some random stocks. Um, I've actually watched the stocks and I understand how they move. And that's why um, the stocks I'm going to mention today are the ones that I know personally that uh, they have some catalysts that would uh, give them a right on the upside. Is it always true? I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I have a crystal ball that's going to determine that. But usually I come out on top. And sometimes a lot of these trades, you can actually see the stock come out of the gate after earnings and squeeze up before pulling back. So one exception to the stock that I, I, um, the stocks that I've been trading are during, after earnings has been Tesla. Because Tesla would have good numbers, but yet the stock usually takes a beating. So um, for me, Tesla, when I trade Tesla, earnings, I'm trading it to the downside. I'm shorting it because I know I don't care how good the earnings are. Somehow the stock finds a way to go south. So um, that's just what I wanted to make sure that you guys have. But um, again, uh, my strategy for swing trading is that I would find the stocks um, that I like. I find the ones that have catalysts coming up. So in this case, my catalyst would be the earnings call. So I read up about the company, what they're doing, if they add a new product, if the customer base increased, I want to understand all those fundamentals. And if I see that, and then I would anticipate that, that good news will give a bump to the stock. And I'm not looking to hold this past the earnings day. I'll trade it maybe just on that same earnings day. I'll just sell it and take my profit. Sometimes I'll miss out because the stock, uh, when the earnings come out, the stock can gap pull back a little bit. And then after um, after everything settles down, the stock would gap again. And sometimes the stock gaps after hours and then gap again early morning. But I usually take my profit after hours. I don't want to hold it till uh, the next morning. So again, sometimes I miss out on some extra profit, but at least um, I know for sure that you can never blow up your account securing profit. So that's my strategy. I'm not a greedy savage. So I hope that you guys uh, find yourself in that same situation. So um, two stocks I'm actually watching actively this uh, week for swing trades are now number one here would be uh, NEO. As you can see on the screen, NEO has been doing great. Uh, the numbers um, has been I mean, just been excellent. So let me bring it here. So if you can look at the numbers for the month of uh, March that they put out. So they delivered 7,257 cars for the month of March. That's insane. So 
That's an increase of about 373% year over year. So Neo is on fire. They're putting out this. Um, and then they have the new sedan that they're working on. That one hasn't gone out yet, but it's in the line. It's making some moves. So that should be looking to, they should look and start doing delivery of the sedan um, as soon as possible. So if we can go back here, this, this picture you see here on the screen, that is Neo's sedan that's getting ready to, um, start shipping out to their customer base. So I like Neo. I think that the fact that the, the, the delivery numbers are excellent, even though the only downside that I see would be the cheap uh, uh, shortage that we see across the auto industry, but uh, Neo should still have some good numbers. So this one, I'm anticipating maybe a squeeze of a dollar or two um, to kind of take some profit. That, that's about it. So uh, when I was doing this video, Neo is currently trading at about um, $42 and some change. Um, but again, like I said here, I'm looking the squeeze here to be maybe from like 43 all the way to 45. So a $2 spread is what I'm looking for. It could go to, to like $3 spread, but my target is to $2 spread. And that's good enough for me. Again, like I said, guys, I'm not a greedy savage. So I'll, I'll take that. Uh, next one is Pinterest. I've traded Pinterest their last uh, uh, three quarters. They've just been fantastic. Um, the, this, the company has just been growing. Um, we went from last three quarters, the stock went from like 40 something to 60. Um, and then from 60 to like 80. Uh, and then now we're currently sitting at about um, $76 and some changes. I'm doing this video. But I see Pinterest also making some great moves. Their earnings are probably going to come out really good. Um, reason is because Pinterest is actually introduced what called their you know, Pinterest stories. That's going to reach more people. And again, if I look back on how last year they, they have been, they were doing wonderful. I'm thinking this is going to be a great one. So Pinterest, I'm looking um, to get maybe up to around eighty-five dollars. So Pinterest, I'm a little bit bullish on Pinterest. I think it maybe about five or six dollars squeeze uh, um, after their earnings come out. So this is one that I really like, and I'm going to be watching this one closely uh, just to see it. Um, here is some more information on Yahoo. Um, giving you some context. You know, Pinterest is set to report first quarter 2021 results. That's on the 27. Uh, just so you guys know, Neo is going to report their earnings. Um, I think that would be Thursday. Um, and so you want you to keep an eye on that Thursday after hours this week. And then uh, Pinterest would be tomorrow, Tuesday, 27 after hours. So definitely keep an eye um, on that one. But if you can see here, they're, they're talking about revenue growing at just quarter after quarter, which is fantastic for the company. So I anticipate this to kind of bump them a little bit up and give us maybe five or $6 spread. It could be more, but again, that's my target. I'm not a greedy savage. So I'll take the profit that I can take from this and walk away. So um, those are two stocks that I wanted to give you guys um, that I'm going to be swinging this week. And again, guys, this is my strategy. Um, it works for me. So I hope that when you're, when you're deploying the strategy, you want to make sure that you do your homework before you jump in. Um, again, uh, swing trading requires you to understand uh, some major catalysts about the company or the stock before you jump in. So in this case, um, the catalyst that I'm looking here would be their earnings. And so I anticipate that their earnings are going to look good. And so that's why I'm swinging these two stocks. Again, there's a bunch of other companies that are going to be coming out. These uh, earnings are going to be coming out this week. Um, we're talking about, yeah, I talked about Tesla already that came out. Um, so AMD is coming out this week. Boeing, Shopify, Spotify, um, Taylor Dock, uh, Logitech, eBay, um, Exxon. There's a lot of uh, other companies, Domino's uh, coming out this week as well. So um, yeah, the, those are companies that a lot of people are watching. So if you have any of those companies, definitely keep an eye on because um, this week is uh, a really interesting one. So that's all I wanted to talk about uh, in this video. Again, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section regarding swing trading as well as my strategy. And I would not hesitate to share anything that I know with you guys. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. 
go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you are looking to get started with investing, Weibo has a promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get free stocks. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated. Yeah.